Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Uh, we got Ronnie Dahl from Ronnie Dahl Channel. Hey, young guys. Hey, Ronnie. Uh, visiting Aussie Four Wheelers, so we're taking him for a bit of a show at Menai. So we're standing right here in front of Suzuki Hill as a start. It's crazy, so, man. <laughs> what do you reckon? It's crazy. From here, it looks. Oh yeah, I can kind of see a line. It's gonna be difficult. But then when you walk it, it's like wow. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not taking my 70 up that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll see September coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll give this a go, but not that. <laughs> we'll be here for a whole day, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, you can do it in like a couple of hours. Yeah? Yeah. Depending on how many vehicles, sometimes we'll have a big bunch of vehicles and then this is the track we do the whole day. We don't go anywhere else. I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that usually people sliding across and then they try and come up? Oh, uh, depends. Sometimes, you know, that's that's all from the diffs. Okay, so they're basically up, and that's what we usually do if you want to do that side of it. You're basically up and then you're scraping the pump. Uh, yes. Sometimes you can't do it. Depending, every time the strain changes a little bit, the weather, the rock moves, or whatever. Yeah. And then you start up to this area. So obviously that's this line you go that way, right? Yeah, the easiest was is to actually get through this. Might pack a few rocks and then get over that way. The other one is tackling those steps and then you knock this tree in the way where that's a bit of that down there. Yeah, for panel damage. Okay. <laughs> panel damage tree. <laughs> This one requires a bit of a bump. Uh, yeah. We we usually try to get a wheel up here. Okay. Come up this way. So that's not as hard. Uh, only like so for bigger tires, traction, and clearances. Yeah. It's not as hard until you get here. So you got the undercut on the rock. Depending on how you got up here, that's right. And what happens? So you would slide. Usually, you'll slide where you, you, you want to reverse, but you can't go back much because it's a tree. Yeah. So you sort of stuck with limited movement here, trying to. Yeah. And then half the time you're committed to go forward. Yeah. Up and once you're up here, the rest is fine. So that's that. That's Suzuki Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Epic. All right, more to follow after this, so we'll go from track to track, showing Ronnie Menai and what we do there. And here we are, guys. This is our second track to show Ronnie, the comp track, which... The time trial. Yeah, the time trial track. That's why they call it the comp track. So basically, it's a loop around up here and comes back down. We had a quick walk and had a look. What do you think, Ronnie? I think it's, it's pretty epic as it is. Oh, it's, it's funny. You call it the time trial because it's not it's not difficult enough to do a time trial on it. The comp track. <laughs> yeah. It's um yeah. I'll, I'll give this a go. Yeah. This this will be fun. Yeah, it is a fun track. There's a lot of off camber. Mm. You, you've got to pick the right lines where there's some diff hangers yeah. in place. So for sure. <laughs> and I won't be time trialing it. I'll just be slow and steady. <laughs> yeah, we never time trial. If you check our videos, we just take it easy. Yeah. And you come back down that way, which is a big drop. Yeah, that looks interesting. Yeah. So that's yeah. that one and yeah, like cool stuff you got here. Like we drove past the hip hop tracks as well, there's just stuff everywhere here. Yeah. You'll see what's coming up next. Let's go there now. Yeah, awesome. I'm surprised all this stuff's around like so close to Sydney. Hey Harry, what's going to show on us now? Fun track track. <laughs> <laughs> At least I hope that's the fact. He's showing us his bum crack. I've been misled. I don't feel safe. You're walking behind him too. <laughs> Ronnie, where are you? Some big holes around here. Can you actually drive this? This is madness. Wow. Look at this. I'm 180 centimetres at scale. Like, that's about 150. <laughs> that is nuts, man. It is. And I have to admit, I have no courage to do this. This is this is what what we class at WA on walking hiking trails as as class seven, extreme. <laughs> yeah. And 
further down there. Yeah, it gets even worse down there. Yeah. Well, well, depends which way you look at it. <laughs> I'd love to see a comp truck drive through here though. Yeah, that'll be sweet as, but comp trucks will be. Yeah, 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 for sure. Especially up there, it gets really tight. Between those rocks and the tree. Man. Yeah. That's cool stuff here, right? Yeah, but some people attempt, some people actually do good um, in normal cars. Uh, and, um, but not on here though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here? Yeah, really? Yes. Wow. You mess up. Just that little smidgen. Yeah. You're gonna be in for new panels. Yeah, some people wouldn't even call that a track. <laughs> yeah, it's a creek. <laughs> crazy. But I love it. Rock gardens, eh? Right, yes. We're at the rock gardens. This is what we call rock gardens or tabletops by another name. So here the tracks are basically numbered in our minds from one to ten. So I'll show you over there. Is track number one obviously goes in the right order as well. So number two is this big rock. Through there. Maybe you're off to the left there and over those rocks. Number three is basically that one, and that's a pretty interesting warm-up when we come and do these things to warm up as you progress. So um, well, there's a lot so of they get difficult stuff. as they go. Yeah, they do. And um, this one also has this tree in a way, so when it's slippery or you slide off from that ledge very easy to damage the rig water or or if you're stuck right in front of it no room to reverse so you've got a winch yeah, yeah. yeah pretty interesting um, but all sorts of vehicles can do these type of things so you don't have to have massive tires massive lifts i could uh, see you running like recreational courses on how to drive on this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i wish <laughs> i feel like a good tour for here <laughs> yeah I reckon good set of 33s here. Oh, well, we've we've proved it. Even 31s mm. can do this track. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's where we start off. So yeah. progress, and then over there we've got the rest of the track. Oh, it's keen to see number seven and ten because they're your favourites. Yeah. So I'm keen to see what style of obstacles are your favourite. Yeah. Because well, there's all different obstacles here. Yes. Yes. Sure. Let's go and off. Yeah, let's check it out. Then. Number four to the side, so that's got a bit of soft on the edge. I, I was like really scared once. I've got guys actually hanging off the rock sliders trying to keep me there. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was, yeah. I was packing it if you take it too wide, but if you cut across. So you're looking at tipping that way almost? So yeah, the other way. The other way, yeah. Oh, you're looking at tipping that way? Yeah. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah, so before you're... you get to the steps. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And then uh, it's better to cut across, go for the steps. I was only worried about, you know, re-bar hitting the rocks, Slowly. but it's better to do that than risk rolling. So you come totally. straight down. <laughs> you come straight down. And um, then there's this one, that's number five. You've got on this side of the rock. And you also got the option of between the two trees there. So you can see rock in between the two trees. Oh, ah, yeah, big trees, yeah. That's uh, then number six is interesting. That one there. Yeah, that one is not suitable for any long wheelbase or oh. mid wheelbase vehicles. Oh wow! Yeah, both tires hitting at the same time. Oh, okay. As soon as you start climbing in mid, um, then mm. the other wheel is like on a rock ledge, so it doesn't let you climb. You're talking about that bit and that bit. All yeah. across. Okay. It's, it's very hard. Actually, that second step is actually bigger than what you see from here, like bigger than what you think. When the vehicle's there, it's, it's just amazing. But short wheelbase, we have Nicholas in his Jeep. He's done it even reverse. <laughs> short wheelbase. Go off. Yeah. <laughs> like he's done it with ease. It's like smiling, wow. yeah, probably on yeah. the phone. And he's doing it like casual. But no. there'll, there'll be other spots where he, you have the, the same trouble at the long wheelbase I have in there, right? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. Short, short yeah. buddy, all basically. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so show us all up. So Suzuki's and two-door Jeep, eh? That's right, that's for them. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. oh. <laughs> now one of my favourite tracks is over there, track number seven. Yes, so let's go there. Yeah, Ronnie, so... Well, this is your favourite one, eh? Yeah, and I love these Waratah plants around it. They're a giveaway uh, of this track when you see them. You go, oh yes, this is track number seven. The other name is the Waterfall track. So you've got a nice waterfall coming down those rocks on the front. So you like a good challenge. <laughs> Check that step out. So you, 
Yeah, obviously you're over here. Yeah, you do climb this as well. Yeah. Climb up across. Nice. Beautiful track. Someone's knocked into the tree, but... Yeah. Oh, what? Okay. That is a decent step. Yeah. So where do you normally take the step? On this side? Do you use these uh, rocks or do you take it straight on? Sometimes here, sometimes there, depending how I end up from there. Uh, but yeah, this, this gets tail shaft dips. I've actually bent my tail shaft here before, which completely bent over there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. At the end of the track. That's a decent step. Check out <laughs> the height difference there. Yeah. It's a beautiful track. Let's put it right. Just keep going. Mate, we're going to have to watch the drive this next time we come back. You'll actually be surprised to think how easy does it look? Yeah. This is done in like 30 seconds. Yeah? So to speak. Uh, if you just get the right line, yeah, that's it. I can't understand sometimes these things. Two problems here left behind and it's DB. <laughs> you don't like DB there? No, I don't do it. Uh, Wise man. <laughs> yeah. And this, this was the climb where my tail shaft finally gave way. Did you twist it? Yeah. Like a drill bit. <laughs> uh, I think I saw a photo on uh, Instagram. Yeah, 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 that was it. From here. So then you take that and you go past that tree up there. For those that don't want to do that section, you just put it off there to the left. Okay, is it? And that there's an option too, I'll take it. Yeah, that's if you, or even there to finish it off if you don't oh, want to do the last yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. I suppose if you've done all that, you might as well. Yeah, might as well finish it off completely. And that's the last bit. Then you go and look for other tracks or do other tracks that you want to do. Oh, that's, this is one of the favourites here at Menai. It looks like a pretty cool track. Yeah, it like is. it's quite nice to look at as well on the way up. Yeah. And you know what, with the right spotters, um, lock differentials, even with a 2 inch lift and 33 inch tyres, it's possible, even 31s. Wow. Okay. Just a bit of packing here and there where it's required and mm. a bit of patience and the right spotters. Do you guys ever use max tracks in your packing as all? Well? We have seen people tried using them, but they didn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, I mean they're more for sand, but I'm just, yeah. I'm just wondering because you guys do this all the time. Like, yeah, didn't yeah. It's more, more more about rock building than. Yeah, it's mm. more about landscaping. Landscaping, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like that term, landscaping. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're landscaping the track here. <laughs> yeah. So I can see how it gets a waterfall because the whole yes. mountain or hill we got yeah. here. Catches all the water, comes in here, yeah, and just flows down. And we've done it in wet as well. It wasn't an issue. I think we should modify it in your vehicle next time we come back. Yeah, we'll do it here. No worries. We're doing a favourite track. No worries. Makes sense. Yeah. So waratah, that's just a plant. Waratah well. is a native plant. Uh, okay. So you guys don't have it in. No. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah, it's a native plant and actually New South Wales emblem on the driver's licenses and probably some other things will have a Waratah on it. Yeah, okay. That's the state emblem. There you go, learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> awesome man, right, that's well. a cool track. Yeah. Let's go further on. Here we are, track number eight. Number eight. Number eight is here. Oh, that's that one. Yeah. So you start off here and you go up here. Okay. I've only done it once and then I actually got stuck, <laughs> wedged on that um, stump and because I was so tired and I wasn't, I just gave up, I said I'm going to come and do it another time because it, I just mentally wasn't prepared as well and then I got wedged like silly, yeah. I tried to do something and I got wedged on the stump and I said nah, winch me out. I'm coming back again to do this another time when I'm feeling comfortable. Is it one of those deceiving ones? Because to me, this looks like one of the easiest ones I've seen so far. <laughs> is that is that what it does to you? 
it's sort of, it looks easy, but you've got, so you've got a diff hanger there, and that's what mm. I tried to avoid, and that's what made me slide into the stump uh, yeah. and get wedged, but um, it, I didn't have spiders either, so I was by myself, and then I ended up getting someone to come and winch me out. <laughs> so that, that was the issue. Yeah. I couldn't winch myself out, it wasn't enough, so I needed someone from the back as well. Oh. So yeah. it was one of those like, yeah. how do you get stuck here? You need a rear winch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then number nine. Number nine. This way, and this is an interesting track. So you've got either go past the tree there, which I damaged the door with. <laughs> or try over the rock or you come around this side so you've got, a, you've got three options there yeah. but this is the tricky section where you can actually think about how you're going to do it and when it looks like oh yeah I can do it this way but then when the car's there it's a different story it's a bit more slippery too yes yes a lot of loose dirt sandy and, um, and yeah, it just Next up there looks really narrow. Yeah, but it's not bad. Once okay. you clear this, then it's fine. Yeah. Everything up there is fine. And once you're past there, that's it. That's the end of that track. You actually go on to another track. Yep. Which is the track number 10. So let's go to track number 10 from the top. It's closer than walking down. Oh, yeah. It's just up here. Number 10 to the car. Yes, and that's another favourite track. So when, you, when you're doing these tracks, say so you, you're down here now, you've got your patrol here in 40s. Uh, which we don't have with us today, otherwise we'll be driving on it. <laughs> do you look at, okay, we need to relocate this, we need to build something up here. Do you go through the whole track first? Or do you, do you drive section by section and then like, you've got like your crew with you and then you help each other out by building as you go? Is yeah, that kind we, of how you do it? We do both. Um, okay. If it's, say, for example, uh, uh, an unfamiliar track, mm. we'll normally park the cars go for a walk and then uh, suss out, work Just out our discuss lines, the whole thing. Yeah, discuss everything, how we're going to do it. The tracks that when we know about them, or we know, or when we've done them before so we know how to actually get through them, sometimes you won't even need a spotter, but sometimes it's like, alright, I'll need someone to spot me there and we'll, we'll need packing there and mm. so on and so forth. Yeah. So it depends, we do both. Yeah, yeah I tend to agree there, it's, it's like the unknown tracks that look like this, you're going to want to spot it. But if you've done it three or four times, you know what's going to happen. You can kind of do it on your own, and then all of a sudden, if you end up in a situation, uh, can you just let me know if I'm going to hit that? Yes, yeah. that's right. Like, like the case here, mm. um, even though, say, if you've done it three times in the past or more, you'd still say, look, can someone spot me? Because I want to try slightly off to Didn't how I did right it before. Or... Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. So you need that extra mm. help because you can't see really what's, what's And sometimes going on. things change. Yeah. Other people have knocked the rock over. That's right, and, yeah. and the weather, you know, when it rains yeah. heavily, how this gets washed down. You yeah. come uh, you come to a, say for example, we've been like on a track that we did say this weekend, then it rained heavily the following weekend. We went back to that same track the following weekend after that, and it was like a different track. Yeah. The rain just washed everything down. Yeah, we don't, on we don't experience too much rain on the west, but yeah, I, I can relate to that. Yeah, <laughs> some tracks do change overnight. We sort of more get like Andrews, that changes overnight. They can change a matter of hours. Oh, yeah. So this is something you'd move, I take it? No, I would leave it there. Yeah? It adds to the challenge. Okay. <laughs> See, I'll, I'll, I'll be one forward. Let's put this flat. <laughs> Yeah, we leave it as a challenge, and then if, it, if it's giving us half time, then we'll deal with it then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you are here for the challenge and the fun. Yeah. And this completes that track, so that's the end of that one. I haven't done the first portion of it. Oh, so you come in off yeah, number I'll nine? Yeah, come in from there and go down here. Oh, this is one of the most interesting. Your car off camber like that, like you're just packing it. Yeah, jeez. You're... Like, imagine that. Like, oh. I, I can't, it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> Just give it when you're there. It's like, oh, so scary. The feeling, so you can imagine when you're I honestly don't think of my like, a 79 series would be able to do this without some... This is probably where coils or something would come in handy for something like that. But like with the leaf suspension, nah. I don't think so, like. 
Cool so this is halfway of track 10 and um, you've got a few diff hangers up there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as, we, as we're going up to finish. So I would consider, this is a hard track, but I would consider that the easier section of the track 10 and that's the harder section down there. So let's go down for a walk and I'll show you this. couldn't throw it in a car. Just throw it in a car and dispose of it at the petrol station. Unless it fell out of the truck. Yeah, give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I can hardly walk this one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's intense. Yeah. It's wow. intense. Watching all your videos, um, being here in person and seeing the actual terrain that I've seen on videos, sometimes the camera doesn't do it justice. Never Look, on some shots it, it, it looks hectic, <laughs> like a lot of it looks hectic, but when you're here, like that, it's like, how? <laughs> yeah. How in not a conch truck? Yeah, and then you'll get a web Without wheeler. damaging. Then you'll get a web wheeler who says he can do that on two inch lift, unlocked. On two wheel drive, on going backwards. <laughs> So yeah, they're more than welcome to come and through. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's a little bit rocky as they're climbing up. Interesting. That, that looks like Bob's Hill. That's the hill I was talking about in, in Western Australia. That's about as intense as we get there. Um, I've known tracks, and there there are tracks that um that uh Harry, who's holding the camera right now, that. That he's taking me to, that it's on private land, no one can get to, and that's more like what you're doing here, but yeah. But, but this, this is like a Bob's Hill, right there. Look at that intensity. And it might have one section of that intensity there. That's it. Yeah, it looks, it's they very picturesque here. Yeah. Thanks, man. No thanks, thanks for the tour. If you liked it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing your car do this. Me too. <laughs> Soon. I'll leave mine at the bottom. <laughs> Soon. Yeah, you'll yeah, see. Well, if you're spotting, I'll, I'll try some of the one or two fruit. Yeah, and then you'll, you'll see what you're comfortable with. Yeah. 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 That's how we normally instruct that one. And never let uh, peer pressure or anything like that to push you. Yep. To, to go beyond and then that wrecks your car. And that's what I say to people when I'm filming too. Just because the camera's out doesn't mean you have to be a hero. Like yeah. don't don't damage your car. Don't do something you normally wouldn't do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, yeah. I know when I can call it quit and I'll tell the person, look, I'm gonna do it another day. Yeah. I'm more than happy to give give up yeah. um, than to do something that I don't feel comfortable with. Yeah, so don't be a Marty McFly when someone calls you chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well let's put this in. Yeah, just I usually chuck it in the, on the footwell. Not that yeah. hard, is it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's go to yeah. 80 Series Hill and then that'll be our last yep. tip for Man I. I'm, I'm keen to see Harry's view on 80 Series Hill. An 80 series. Yeah, 80 series hill will be interesting. You guys must see it yeah. today. So we're going there now. Great. And, and we'll come back. Call it a day.
I don't think my 80 series would be able to do it. Yes, it will. <laughs> it will. <laughs> Sliders, see? <laughs> you land on the rock sliders, protect the sills. Has this got rock sliders? Yeah. They must be right, tucked right in, eh? No, no, they're just there. You haven't noticed because they look so nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. Some people think that um, I, I painted were... the factory side steps. I thought they were side steps when I saw them. Yeah, or well, rock wow. slider sidestep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, as in, I, they don't look like a proper slider. Yeah. They, look, they look really neat. Yeah, made it out of RHS. That's it. And now straight to 80 Series Hill. Nice. And then you get to say what? They call that a bypass. That's a bypass to this. Oh, wow. Okay. So before you look at Look over there, just keep yeah. looking at that one. I'm not a... looking here. <laughs> <laughs> keep looking at that one as a bypass. And all the, all the rocks left I over think, there. I recognise this. Yeah, I've seen many videos. The reason why it's called 80 Series Hill is because there was an 80 Series that rolled. Oh. Okay, so you come up there. Yeah. Or here. Yeah. Or the one in between. We usually go there, that, that bit of step, yep. climb around, there's a little step over there, depending on how much, how big it is or how much lift you've got, they either go up here or come around this way. So, oh, and there okay. used to be an easy bypass over there around the corner, but now that's become hard as well. So you come across yeah. diagonally on that step and when it's sort of slippery and wet it sort of keeps straight. Keeps so you've got to pull it that yeah, way and you've you got to risk like this all the time. Yep. You've got to start sooner. And then here the trick is to keep your driver's side up here. And this one wherever it ends. Okay. And you just got to keep the momentum at the right time. I love it, it says the, the driver's side here, the other side wherever it ends up. <laughs> 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 that's the important one. But that's true, I mean, we can see all this loose dirt here as well, so yeah. that's definitely going to spin. And then at the right time, you creep up to it, and then you've got to just give it, mm. so the momentum will bounce you over, and the rest is easy. What PSI would you run your vehicle for stuff like this? Because, like, you want the grip, but you also don't want to smash your rims, right? Yeah, So and, what? and a lot of people also worry about losing clearance with the you know, as you yeah. deflate you lose a little bit every five millimeter counts <laughs> traction's worth more than clearance <laughs> that's right uh, but yeah I, I wouldn't run uh, anything even any tire because different different type of tires 
tyre brands, mm. we've experienced you you can't run the same PSIs. Even yeah. even like even though they're the same size tyre, you've got to have different PSIs for different tyres for some bag and... out more and mm. you know. Um, but nothing more than 18 PSI. Okay. But a lot of the tyres, so if they can handle 12 to 15 without debeating or leaking air, mm. we'll run them between 12 and 15. I run 10 in the with bead locks. Okay. Found but you that. do have a lot more more meat in your yeah in your walls. So stuff like this, I generally run. I used to run 20 on the front, 25 for the rear. We used to have a really heavy rear. Yeah. Now I'd be guessing I'll be running like 20, 20. Mm. But going by your advice on 18, you do this stuff a lot more than I do. This rocky stuff. Yeah. yeah I'll give that a go. On, next on time. 18, the tire won't be beat. You just got to be yeah. sensible. You know, like not. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to think. Hang on, my tires are low. Yeah. So when you turn corners, you got to be sensible. But um, definitely. That's, well, that's this is a bypass. Yeah. Let's now. have a look at what it's bypassing. <laughs> I've been told not to look yet. Yeah, Can have a look, a look now. Have a look now. <laughs> okay. That's the 80 series hill. It's not a lot of choice here, is it? <laughs> I maintain my previous statement. My 80 series couldn't do this. <laughs> Your 80 series can do this. You've got to be positive. <laughs> so look at that size. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now, I think it's one of those, like, I can't really see it, but I'd like to see someone else drive it, and I go, okay. And this is the hard side. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so, everything is hard, but this is the hard side of our E-Series. I reckon it's a bit sketchy for like a real short wheelbase here. Yeah. And they still do it. Yeah, they still do it. No they problem. do everything. <laughs> yeah. This is the worst part. Uh, yeah, for this section. That up there. Not that that's easy. <laughs> yeah, it's a big step to the left, like middle to the left. Like, depending how you tackle it. Yeah. I've done it where I got stuck and I've done it like, well, I've just crawled it up. It just depends the angle you take, how much you want to change from the... Because every time you come here, you want to do something different. But I'm not here just to do that one and the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, you're here to have fun and play around. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that that's it. Um, I think we'll leave it at this. Ronnie, a... As a tour of Menai. Yeah. Still not everything. There's Prado Hill. There's a few other smaller tracks and here and there, but most of it you've seen. And these are the tracks we love and they're very the very eye-opening interesting ah this looks awesome here yeah hope yeah. you liked it yeah I reckon we'll have to we'll have to come here when we come to Sydney show oh yeah yeah and you at least have a bit of a muck around yeah yeah I'll probably gonna avoid some of those crazy ones but yeah, yeah. for obvious reasons I guess we've got to get the car home yeah <laughs> of course we'll yeah. keep that in mind oh, cheers, All right. thank you Ronnie thanks, thanks guys thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to check out Ronnie Dahl's channel as well. Keep and going. until next time.